Hey! Hey! <sighs> Wake up, Michan! It's already morning! As the sunlight poked through the curtains, I heard a familiar voice which woke me up. Hey! You're awake! As I woke, a girl so cute that any guy would fall for her came into my vision. It was the smile of my childhood friend, Kana Shiraishi. Morning, Kana. Morning. Can you get up? Let me sleep a little bit. Hmm, fine. Five more minutes then. Good night. Okay, good night. <laughs> Kana, she seems to be enjoying it. I began falling back to sleep with the help of her heavenly voice. And then... Oh no! I'm gonna be late! Jeez, how come you're sleeping in even when you have Kana coming to wake you up? Cuz You ended up going back to sleep four times. Ugh. Kana, why don't you go ahead? You're gonna be late too. It's okay. I'll make a run for it. Plus, I'm the one who couldn't wake him up, so we're in the same boat. What an example you are, Kana. Unlike someone else over here. Hey, be quiet! I know I was in the wrong. Why don't you wake up earlier then? Stop getting Kana to wake you up day after day and do it yourself. Uh, it, it's fine. I like waking him up. Really? Well, if you say so. Still... You need to wake up a little bit earlier, Minato. I know! Oh, I really have to go now! Yeah, we should. See you later. Yeah, yeah. You two be careful. Kana and I rushed to school as we were just about to be late. Kana and I rushed to school as we were just about to be late. It's fine. Running in the morning feels nice. Kana was not only cute, but she could play sports and had good grades. And above all, she was kind-hearted and compassionate. She was the most popular girl at school by far. I've known her since we were both kids, and we spent a lot of time together. I was completely into her, but... Hey, Michan! We gotta hurry! Just like that, because I didn't want to ruin the relationship we already had, I kept my feelings a secret. To be honest, I was okay if things stayed the same. We were so comfortable with each other already, I didn't see the need to step in further. But, at this moment, I had no clue that this would all change in an instant. What are you doing?! One day, in front of my house on a pouring day, I found Kana standing there all by herself. I quickly went up to her. Ah, uh, Michan. What are you doing standing outside in the pouring rain without an umbrella?! Michan. Huh? What happened? Michan! Michan! For some reason, she was calling my name out over and over again. I've never seen her like this. What could have possibly happened? Come inside, and then we can talk. Okay. Uh, actually, why don't you go home first and take a bath? You're gonna catch a cold like this. Home. Um, I don't want to. You don't want to go home? I've never heard you say anything like that before. Did something happen? <sighs> Anyways, you need to dry yourself before you get a cold. <sighs> Fine. I'll get the bath going at my house, so why don't you just use it? Can I? Of course you can. I don't want you to catch a cold. And if mom catches me letting you stay out like this, she's gonna throw a fit. She does seem pretty down. I need to find out what happened. I'm done. Thanks again. Uh, ah, yeah! Um, I'm sorry, actually. Since I don't have anything besides that for you to wear. No, it's fine. I actually kind of like it. Huh? Sorry, I, I couldn't catch the last part. N no, never mind. It's nothing. I guess I shouldn't push it if she says so. But sure doesn't seem like it's nothing. Anyways, I still have to ask her what happened. So, what happened? Uh, um... 
If I say it's nothing, would you believe me? If you don't want to talk about it, I'll stop asking, but... Um, it's not that I don't want to talk about it. It's just that I need some time to prepare myself. To put it straightforward, I ran away from home. Oh, you ran away from home. What? Ran away? You ran away from home? You would be surprised. Yeah, of course. You hear about people running away from home from time to time. But a good girl like Kana who gets straight A's? Just the fact that she even thought of doing that shocked me. So, you left without even saying anything to your parents? No, I told them I'm leaving. And said I'm going to Michan's place. Ah, okay, well, at least you told them? Kana would tell her parents when she's going before running away from home. If that's the case, at least her parents won't be too worried. Did they say something? They said I would never be able to do something like that. They also said not to go over to your place because it'll cause a nuisance. Well, even if you did come, you wouldn't cause any trouble. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Uh, really? Thanks. No. In this case, I should be the one thanking you. Thanks for everything. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. Kana? It's been a while since we were like this. Maybe elementary school? Y you're right, but what I need to know is why you're doing this all of a sudden. If this is just a friendly maneuver to her childhood friend with no further intentions, I'm gonna cry. Michan, you haven't let me do this ever since middle school. B because it's embarrassing. Even when no one's watching? Yeah. That's normal when you're at that age, isn't it? Yeah, well, I was pretty sad and hurt. Well, sorry, but how come you're bringing that up just now? I've never heard Kana confessing something like that before. I had no idea she was so sad about that. I don't know. I just get sentimental about it. Kana? Hey, Michan. Is it okay if I stay over tonight? We have school off tomorrow. What? Are you serious? Yeah. We used to have sleepovers a lot back then. Is it okay? Well, it's quite a different story now compared to when we were little. We're already high schoolers, you know. But we're childhood friends. Are you trying to say just because we're childhood friends, it's different than a normal boy and girl spending the night together? I guess she really doesn't want to go back home. Fine. Really? O only if Mom says yes. I can't just let you stay here without her permission. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Well, I'll do my best to try and convince her. Ah, uh, yep, thanks. <laughs> it's been such a long time since Michan's patted my head. You're right. We don't do things like this anymore. It's just you, Michan. You're the one that stopped doing things like this. Yeah, I told you. After a certain age, it's just hard to do. Hmm. I... I told you I'm sorry. Was that a concern for her all this time? But seriously, why is she bringing this up all of a sudden? I'm home. Ah, Mom's home. Let me ask her and she would see... Yep, right. My mom came home at the perfect time, and so I explained the best I could. Kana stopped being pushy about it. I twisted the story here and there to make it easier to explain, which Kana let slide. After that, we discussed the taboo subject, in which she agreed to have her stay over. Even with Kana's good reputation and manners, I still found it hard to believe she would agree to let her stay. I assume Kana's mother had already let my mom know in advance. You can stay, but we need to find you some clothes. That's... yeah, I don't think that's appropriate. Uh, um, this is... I know, I know. This is the only thing you could find, right? That's pretty bold of you to just hand her that Minato. I... I couldn't just let her wear wet... I... I couldn't just let her wear wet clothes, and I obviously couldn't let her have nothing on! 
so this was the best option. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I'm going to go find her some clothes, so in the meantime, don't lay your hands on Kana, Minato. I won't! Okay, okay. Just wait here, Kana. I'll be right back. Y yes thank you. As she said that, Mom left the door. Michan, how is it? Is it good? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> I'm glad. Your mama told me what kinds of seasonings you would like. Kana remembers things so well, so it's easy to teach. You can really do anything, huh? Not really. I just put in a lot of effort. The fact that you can put in effort is amazing enough. You're right. Why don't you start copying her, Minato? Maybe your grades will start improving. Be quiet! Let's not talk about grades right now. Michan just doesn't study. He's actually really smart, so it's fine. Sorry, Kana. The lack of effort is what bothers me. I'd rather him give it his all and get bad grades than to not try at all and get the same result. <laughs> well, Michan has his strengths too. It's not like studying is the only thing that matters. Kana, you're such a good girl. I have a feeling you're going to be a really nice wife in the future. Uh, a nice wife? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Um, <laughs> it's nothing. I really understand why he can't get a girlfriend. What? That's not what we're talking about here! Our dinner came to an end like this. And afterwards, Kana and I got ready for bed after a few games. Michan, are you awake? Huh? Kana? Oh, sorry I woke you up. It's fine, but what's the matter? It's really late. Um, is it okay if I sleep with you? What? Sleep? Together? Um, yeah. Um, I don't know about that. We're childhood friends. Just because we're childhood friends doesn't mean you can get away with anything, you know? Is that a no? Oh, uh, okay. Fine. Come here. Th thanks it has been a while since we slept together like this too, right? Yeah, ever since preschool, I think. You actually remember? I remember most of the memories I had with you. That's gotta be an exaggeration. I do. Like in third grade, you helped me when I was almost attacked by a dog. Ah, uh, yeah. The dogs were trying to hunt you for snacks. I remember, I was honestly so scared. Yes, it was. But the way you tried to protect me was really cool. S stop it! You're making me blush. <laughs> or that time in fourth grade during camp when you found me when I got lost in the woods. Yeah, I remember. You were chasing after a raccoon, right? When I heard you were lost, I just had to do something about it. I still remember when I came back, the teacher got so angry with me. Yeah, we both got a big trouble. Although, I thought it was unfair for you since you're the one that found me. They should have praised you instead. Well, going into the woods by myself? That's pretty dangerous now that I think of it. I suppose it was the result of the recklessness of a child. But to be honest, even if the same thing happened now, I would go look for her in an instant. I'd rather put myself in danger than lose her. Even if I get in trouble, as long as Kana is safe, I can live with that. Kana continued to tell stories of our childhood. She would compliment me along with her stories, which made me blush. But I can't lie, it felt really nice to have Kana compliment me. I was quite shocked when she first asked me if we could sleep together. But the time we ended up spending together was really nice. But... And then... Kana? <laughs> and, um... Uh, are you crying? I'm sorry, I'll stop. No, it's fine. 
just let it all out. As I said that, Kana snuggled her face in between my arms and started crying. I caressed her head and waited until she calmed down. I don't want to leave you. What? Mei-chan, I, I like you so much. I really do. So, I can't leave. K kana I really like you too, Kana. I would never leave you. I promise. We have feelings for each other? I'm so relieved. I... I guess so. Does that mean... But... no. What? Uh, I... need to move. What? My dad. He's getting transferred. So we... we're all moving to Tokyo. Why all of a sudden? They were talking about it from a while ago, but they were hiding it from me until the very last minute. No way. Kana's leaving? This merciless truth I was confronted with out of the blue almost blinded me. I... I don't want to. I don't want to move. I want to be with you. Kana... I didn't want her to leave either. I don't understand how this was possible when we finally expressed our feelings for each other. But a teen like me can only do so much. The reason why Kana's parents hid this from her until the last minute was probably because they already knew how she would react to the news. The fact that my mom knew about this was probably why she let her stay over, to give us our final chance to make memories together. Kana, I know it's tough. But it's not like this is goodbye forever. We could call or even video call each other. If I have a long break, I could ask my mom to let me go on a trip to Tokyo. But... we're still going to be separated. I don't want that. We were together all the time. I can't imagine a life without you, Michan. If that's the case, I was about to say something that just crossed my mind. Am I allowed to say this? What I'm about to say may sound absurd. Well... Michan, what's on your mind? Well... Tell me, Michan. I can't leave you. Kana... Yeah, you're right. What do I need to think about first and foremost? Well, that's been decided a long time ago. There's nothing in this world more important to me than Kana's feelings. If it's fine with you leaving your parents, you can stay over with me. What? C can I? Of course. I still have to convince my parents, but if I ask seriously, I have a feeling they might consider it. If that happens, you're gonna have to be away from your parents. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Whatever it takes to stay with you. Okay. Let's talk to our parents about it tomorrow. Will they approve? We'll have to persevere until they do. Once they know we won't give up, they'll take it into consideration. And so we brought our plan to the parents. As expected, they were all against it at first, especially Kana's father. But after a long battle, we were able to convince them. For what it's worth, they seemed to value our feelings, but it was under one condition. Dating with the intent of marriage. Who would have thought that we would get engaged? <laughs> I guess that's how committed we have to be. Did you not want to? No, of course not. I'm so glad I get to stay with you. Now all that's left is for me to do my best not to let you down. We've been together for 17 years. I won't be disappointed. If anything, you're gonna make me fall deeper in love. Right. I'm looking forward to our future, Kana. Yeah, me too, Michan. And that's how she moved in with me. And by the way, after we told everyone about our relationship, everyone seemed to be really surprised. The fact that we weren't dating already. Everybody thought we were a couple a long time ago. But since we started dating, we've become even more flirty with each other. Everyone around us started calling us lovey-doveys. <laughs>